Hi, welcome to the .NET video tutorials. This is Abhi and you are watching part 2 of WPF tutorials video series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the grid layout control in WPF. Basically, a grid layout is used to store the data and controls inside it in a tabular format. The functionality on which the grid control works is similar to the HTML table. The grid layout has one row and one column comes by default. We can use row definition and column definition to create more rows and columns. The size of rows and columns can be defined in units or in percentage or we can use the auto property for it. So let's look at this with an example. Let's fire up the Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new WPF application so new project in the left you can see the multiple languages like visual basic c sharp c plus plus i'm going to choose a c sharp as my code behind and i'm going to choose a WPF application the dotnet framework is 4.5 i'm going to name this application as grit layout actually the name is already exist so I will sample as you can see the visual studio has created three files here the app.config, app.shamble and main window. So app.config and app.shamble don't worry about that I will talk about these files in a very great detail in my later video sessions. So you can see the main window here. I have just created a project and Visual Studio added a window.shamble into it. Basically when we add a new SAML document or create a new WPF project in Visual Studio, it automatically adds a grid as the first container inside it, the window element. This is the grid control you can see. Now there are two ways through that you can create a grid control. You can see in my toolbox there is create control here right now you can just pull out from here and place on the main window another is another way to create a grid control is to use the channel way so I will recommend you to use the channel way because you will understand that what's happening behind the scenes when you will write your channel so I'm going to create the grid control in general way you can use the show grid lines property of the grid control to show the grid lines I have used this property just to show you that's what's happening behind the scenes this is up to you that you use or not so grid lines is equal to 2 this is the property to show the grid lines Basically, you can use three ways to control the height and width of grid rows and columns. Before that, I am going to create the rows grid dot row definitions. This is used to create the rows. Now, as you can see, nothing happening is special here right now because there is one row if I will put another row here this is the grid has divided into two parts in two rows I have created three rows here now to create the columns you have to use the same way now this time you have to use the grid 
dot column definitions and uh, now column now actually this does not this does not matter either you can create the column definitions first or you can create the row definitions first it, it does not matter either what you create first now we can control the sizing in three different ways the first is automatic sizing so if you are going to use the automatic sizing then rows and columns are sized automatically in to fit the content child element so currently this is automatic sizing you can see everything is fitted together the second is absolute or fixed sizing what do me what do i mean by that if i will put height here to 20 so you can see the very first row has taken its size to 20 if i will put maybe 100 here so you can see the second row has taken 100 the same way you can define the width here so if you will define the width width maybe 20 so you can see the first com column has taken the 20 width so this is called the absolute sizing or fixed sizing the third one is the proportional sizing actually in absolute sizing the exact size of the height and width is specified in rows and column definition the size of rows and column does not shrink or expand when the size of the grid window is changed so if i will show you uh, we will go on the uh, proportional sizing later first of all uh, let me show you again that 10 100 uh, maybe 50 now if I will run the application you can see here this is fixed to 100 px so either you shrink or do anything this is not going to affect but if you will delete this from here and if you will just pull out you can see this is taking the size according to the screen so this is auto sizing now the third one is proportional sizing so what is proportional sizing if you this is the proportional sizing I have just put it into that star and star this is called the proportional sizing now understand the main thing here in the third row I have just created Two star here now the third row height is equivalent to the first and second row height together so this is called the proportional sizing proportional sizing is it is divided in the three rows in proportional sizing the available space is divided proportionally among columns and rows so just to understand this easily you can count here count here that is one two and two that is four so the actual row is four but that is divided in three rows so the third row is taking the maximum height here right now suppose the height is 400 then the third row is taking 200 
and the first and second row is taking 100 equal equally so that is called proportional sizing now another thing is that uh, you can use the call call span or voice point uh, voice uh, maybe you have uh, used this in HTML table but before that uh, I will create some controls in grid so right now I am deleting this I'm not going to put any size here uh, maybe I will delete everything I'm going to create a text box a text block and I will say hello you can so see the text box block has appeared here now I'm going to uh, put the location of it so maybe the location is grid dot row is equals to one and grid dot column it's one so as you can see the text blocks block came here now I'm going to create a button control and I will put its content maybe submit and if you will not put the grid row and column then this is by default this is zero zero so i want it to set on the very right corner so grid dot row is equals to two uh, zero and grid dot column is equals to two so you can see the button is placed here inside a grid control you can create another grid the same way you can just uh, i'm just going to copy and paste the all stuff from here copy and paste and you can define this the location here grid dot row is equals to two and grid dot column is equals to two you can see the grid control has placed on the bottom right corner so you can see the different ways through we can we can set the control inside a grid another thing is that you can use the grid dot row span this is used to uh, merge the two rows so if i will put here then this is going this is going to be merged hello and this this and this column so if I will put some more text here you can understand what's happening to do that I have to wrap So you can see the the row span is working here. The same way you can use the call span. So if you will use the call span, then this is going to cover these two columns. So that that's it from the today's 
tutorial hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel for latest videos and updates thanks for watching have a great day